play is by Alberta playwright Matthew McKenzie, Tick, and Matt wrote it when he was at the National Theatre School of Canada, a playwright in his final year, and we programmed it in our 2016-2017 season. It's a wonderful story about a young girl facing change, change at home and at school and within her society. It's really funny, it's high comedy, so it's really approachable. There's a, a great heart at its center um, about a young girl whose mother is dating a new man and this is at a precarious time when you're an adolescent and you know you're trying to figure out what your place is and suddenly there's a new energy in the home. This man not only represents change in terms of what's happening in her house but outside as well. He is running this campaign to close her library or as he says to convert it, to change it so that people can use it and be a more effective society and Tick takes offense to his plans. Not only that but offense to his presence in her life. She has to figure out how to communicate that with her mother and her mother in turn has to realize that Tick is affected by her choices and how they come together as a unit and face the world together. It's got that beautiful heart about a mother-daughter looking out into the world together and giving a young girl a right to speak her mind and about what she needs as well as trying to understand what it's like to be in an adult world and have respect for adults. It's comical. We've got zany characters, some of her heroes who show up, Che Guevara, J.K. Rowling, and Louis Rial, all people who our heroine Tick looks up to. And they have advice about guerrilla warfare tactics and how to go into battle that she's hoping will help her, but ultimately she starts to realize that because they're a kind of a figment of her imagination, they don't quite represent the values that she's looking for in the end, which is about how we, we work as a team. They're larger than life caricatures of their historic selves. They're quite extreme and that Tekelia realizes, you know, maybe there's a balance that I need to strike and I can't be so tyrannical in my views because if I do, I'm going to lose my friends. We want to make sure that our audiences, they know how much we respect them, that they're smart. We want to make sure that they feel that their voices and their concerns are being heard through theater. It goes into school gymnasiums, into theaters, library space, and it's a fantastic set. It's amazing when it gets put up, people go, how do you tour this show? But it, it's because it's huge, it's a tree fort. The playwright had originally written, it must be a tree fort that is spectacularly made by a young person. And so we've had a lot of fun creating the set where we wanted it to have multiple entrances, secret doors, ladders that the characters could go up and down, drawers that they could open up and you know, items of knitting, and donuts and things like that would pop out of those cupboards so that the actors would be able to use them and surprise the audience. We wanted to reflect the tree fort um, that was made by Tick, but also reflected her world. They interplay between her imaginative, expressive outlet of the tree fort world, and then also the contained environment of her home and her bedroom. Some great testimonials from um, schools and teachers and students who have taken to social media, who have tweeted and who have written us saying, you know, this play is so important to tell now. Couldn't have come at a better time. I'm going back to my classroom and I'm talking with my kids about protests. What does it mean to protest? So it's been so wonderful to have people saying that they are in fact going back into the classroom with their students and speaking about issues that matter to them and that's directly because of the content of the play. And it plays for ages 9 to 15 um, but I think it could go even below or above that in terms of age group and um, yeah, let's tick.